Hey there, everybody. Well, free agency coming up in uh, about a week, officially the start of the free agency signing period on Wednesday, and the negotiating window opens on Monday. Of course, teams and uh, agents of prospective free agents have already uh, begun discussions at the NFL Scouting Combine. The biggest question, of course, for the Jets, will they be able to sign Kirk Cousins? Uh, who is the big fish out there in free agency uh, this year. The Jets, of course, quarterback needy, as always. Um, they're going up against the Vikings, the Broncos, uh, most prominently, and then maybe the Cardinals in there as well. Uh, so will the Jets be able to do it? Well, they have the money. They have the cap space at $89 million to be able to creatively structure a, a contract for Cousins that is very heavy in a cap hit and guaranteed money in year one. But, and this is a big but, Cousins wants to win. He's at the stage of his career where he is uh, you know, approaching 30 years old, and that's a priority for him. He has not won in Washington to any degree of significance so far, which is why ultimately for the question of will the Jets uh, land Kirk Cousins, yeah, they, they could. They very well could. They have some things going for them, including uh, money, including the Mike Shanahan uh, influence connection. But ultimately, uh, if we had to put a finger on it right now in terms of a prediction for what it's worth, uh, no, the, the Kirk Cousins will land with the Vikings. The Vikings will get him uh, because ultimately they will be able to come close enough to the Jets' offer and also be able to offer uh, Cousins the allure of a place where he can win with a very good defense, uh, better than the Jets, uh, much better skill position players than the Jets. We detailed all this earlier in the week about why the Vikings are a more attractive destination for Cousins than the Jets. Really the only thing the Jets have going for them, and it's a big thing uh, over the Vikings in terms of an advantage in the Cousins' pursuit, is the money factor. Again, it's a big thing, and the Jets could really make an enticing offer to Cousins that he is uh, really unable to turn down. But ultimately, if we had to call it right now, a week out from the start of the free agency signing period, with the knowledge that Cousins likely will be taking visits, so he's not probably going to be signing on Wednesday, we'll call it for the Vikings right now. Things can change, but it uh, looks like the Jets, uh, if this holds true for prediction for what it's worth, we'll have to go with their plan B. Uh, for free agency and the NFL draft as they try to figure out just who the heck can be a competent quarterback for them.